What hurts? Why? How serious is it? If a pain is sharp, intense, excruciating, comes on very suddenly. That's a sign you need to stop, probably pull out your phone, and call in the rescue bird. Call in your rescue ride. Always have some kind of rescue ride, if you can, available to you. Someone you can call if something does go wrong for you on a walk or a run. So, sharp pains, sudden, incapacitating pains. That's something that just went seriously wrong. You probably overdid something. You'll know if you need to shut down, call for help. This week I'm talking not about sharp pains, but about the aches. The things that tend to hurt more so over a longer period of time. Not the sudden catastrophic sorts of pain to shut down your walking or your running. This week we're looking at the aches and the most important rule I've learned is the place it hurts is not where the problem lies. The place it hurts is not where the problem is. And the problem is usually a weak muscle. For example, patellar tibular syndrome, also known as PT. Patellar tibular syndrome happens, it's sometimes called jumper's knee. It's a pain just below the knee, under, just below the kneecap. And you might think the problem is your knee, but it's not. The problem is a weak VMO muscle on the inner thigh. It's located in a completely different area. And there are exercises you can do, and that I do do, to strengthen that VMO muscle. Because you see, muscles only respond to specific exercise. That is, if you don't work it out, it won't get stronger. You gotta work it out. And running does not work out the VMO on the upper inner thigh. But the VMO keeps your kneecap tracking straight. And if your VMO is weak, then your kneecap won't track right, and you wind up with a pain below your knee. Another one is a iliotibial band syndrome, ITBS. It's a band that runs from your hip on the side, at the, at the place where the hip bone sticks out in your hip, down to the outside of your knee. It stabilizes your leg. When it's weak, the pain appears way up in your hip, but the problem is a iliotibial band syndrome problem. And again, there are exercises that help work that muscle because, again, running doesn't work the iliotibial band. Some pain, some aches, I should say, aren't due to a weak muscle, but an overly tight muscle. Plantar fasciitis took me down for a few months in 1996. Pre-internet, I didn't know what was going on. I only knew that when I woke up in the morning, my heel hurt like hell. Oh, see, I'm sorry. My heel hurt like heck. I thought I bruised my heel. I thought of it as a bruised heel problem. And I would lay off running to see if that would help. I would later learn that it wasn't caused by a bruised heel at all. It's caused by nothing in the heel at all. The problem is an overly tight calf muscle. That's right, a muscle that's too tight. Calf muscles tend to get tight in distance runners. And that can lead to this uh, pulling of the tendon that runs under the kneecap into the arch. And then your arch becomes too tight. And the whole thing causes pain in your heel. It's actually referred to as plantar fasciitis, PF. There is no direct cure for it. Stretching helps, but uh, 
doesn't uh, prevent reoccurrence or alleviate it. I found it uh, getting, for me at least, continuing to exercise, work out, making sure I have good shoes, not shoes that are too old, and uh, making sure I get enough sodium and potassium to offset what I lose walking and running were keys to helping prevent this. So this week, we're looking at pain. Pardon all the traffic, it comes annoying. But part of walking in the real world. And videos this week will focus on some specific pains and remedies that walkers and runners experience. But if something hurts, let me know. One other kind of pain to know about, and that's uh, delayed onset muscle syndrome. If you don't work a muscle regularly, like every three days regularly, that muscle loses tone. When a muscle is out of tone, it can build up lactic acid, anaerobic respiratory lactic acid. That lactic acid causes soreness, not pain, but soreness, stiffness, and achiness in a muscle uh, 24 to 48 hours after exercise. So it's kind of weird. Two days later, you get up and it hurts to kind of to move around and getting up and down stairs can be very difficult, almost impossible because of the uh, delayed onset muscle syndrome. But that's because your muscles are out of shape. And the key to avoiding it is a good cool down, a warm down, as an earlier video put it. Don't just stop suddenly and uh, walk it out. You've got too much lactic acid and other wastes in your muscles. So the solution, walk it out. Get that, start getting the circulation through the muscle to clear out those waste products. Well, welcome to a week of pain, but more importantly, how to recognize pain and remember where it hurts isn't where the weakness is. Where it hurts isn't where the tightness is. So, get out there, put in those walks at your own pace, in a safe place, and take your phone with you. Record your mile, and if something happens, you can call it in. Have a good time walking. <laughs>